Hello, New Haven. I am Miss Megan, the teen librarian for the New Haven Free Public Library, and this is another NHFPL teen book talk. So I like to bring you guys some book suggestions. Um, I know it's November. It's a pretty gloomy month, um, but it is beautiful out, and I want to re recommend a new book that I got in fairly recently. It is called Tigers Not Daughters by Samantha Mabry. Now, this book um, is particularly important to this first week in November because uh, it takes place in a San Antonio, Texas community uh, surrounding one family, a Mexican-American family, um, who have recently lost a sister. Um, so this is Anna Torres, um, and she is dead. Uh, we learn that pretty quickly in the very beginning of this book. Um, and the three remaining younger sisters are coping with that loss. Um, so they're grieving, they're very sad. Um, and their community surrounds them, but the Torres sisters are kind of broken. Uh, they lost their mother when they were all very young. Um, they live with their father who has a lot of issues. And so the girls face uh, different types of abuse. Um, but this is pretty low-key. Um, but still, still kind of um, an intense and kind of dark book, I would definitely have to say. Especially considering that Ana Torres um, comes back. Uh, and she haunts her friends and family and neighbors. Um, for what purpose, we don't know. Uh, you have to read the book to solve that mystery. Um, and the reason I'm bringing it up in the beginning of November is because of Dia de los Muertos, which is a Mexican holiday that is celebrated on the 1st of November into the 2nd of November, um, predominantly in the night of. Um, that celebration um, is a celebration of life, um, of, of being able to live, and the fragility of life, because um, you never know what's going to happen, right? Um, and it is also a celebration of ancestors, uh, and thanking them uh, for the ability to be here, um, and celebrating their lives as well. And so that's really important to the Mexican community as well as the Mexican-American community um, and it is tied very closely into Catholicism um, but it also uh, is borrowed from their indigenous past. Um, a lot of the culture prior to the Spanish conquistadors and the Catholic Church um, also had a lot of ancestor worship and uh, offerings, right? They use these, this term ofrenda um, to kind of build an offering um, a mantle to these lives that they've lost um, in a way to cope with their grief and also to celebrate their being alive. And there is usually a big parade on huge parties, lots of colors, and you've probably seen the makeup of skulls and the fantastic outfits. So it is certainly a celebration. Um, so I'm wishing you all a happy November um, and thinking more upon Mexican-American heritage. Um, and yeah, love this book, Tigers Not Daughters. Um, looking more forward to more books by Samantha Mabry. Uh, she's written a few. Um, she herself is a Texan and a, a Mexican-American Texan. Um, and she's writing in her own voice. All right, so until next time, be well.